Hey guys, this is the Wiggle Man, and welcome to Loot Hoarder. Today we're going to be painting the Night Elf Demon Hunter. Uh, it's a free file, and it's created by White Wolf Tavern. To start off this project, I base coated it with a grey primer, and I am now giving it a base coat of Druchy Violets to give that nice purpley elf skin effect. I added in a layer of Rakarth flesh uh, just around the wings uh, to give them a bit more prominence. If you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget like, comment, subscribe. It helps me a lot. Next up, we apply some highlights with Gene Steeler Purple and Citadel's Warp Fiend Grey. Uh, this gives us the uh, nice kind of smooth transition in highlights on the skin. I then took some uh, Muted Grey ink and began to put in some shadows onto the model. At this stage, I'm happy with how the skin's turned out, so next up is to do the tattoos, the fell magic tattoos. I used Vallejo Air Livery, livery? livery Green for this. Uh, it took a very long time, so I'm only showing you the one tattoo here. And with the magic of editing and a lot of patience, the tattoos are complete. The next step is to move on and start pinlining in some shadows uh, around kind of where the, the, the clothing touches the skin, uh, where her wrappings are, things like that, just to give a bit more depth into the model. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer. So at this point, I begin to block in all of the black details on the clothing. When I started this project, I actually didn't have any kind of a plan as to what I wanted her clothing to look like. Uh, so pretty much from this point onwards, I'm playing it by ear. And what feels good to me, what feels relevant to the character. I wanted to give the skin just that little bit more of a punch up on the highlights, so I took some Warp Fiend Grey and I mixed it with just a smidge of uh, kind of a, a light, very light flesh tone, just to give that final highlight step and to be able to get into areas that I might not necessarily have been able to reach with the airbrush.
I actually noticed that there was a bit of exposed skin uh, at the bottom uh, bottom half of the like the calf area, if that can be said for hooves. Uh, so I took some Zerius purple and just painted over that for now. I start to colour the hair with Vallejo Model Air Olive Green. Um, obviously, being a night elf, I wanted a, a night elfy colour. Being creatures of the forest uh, that live in an X tree, uh, I decided to go with the dark green. Unfortunately, I was painting in the middle of a pretty major heat wave here in the UK, so my phone overheated and I lost a lot of footage. So through the magic of editing, we're now painting the fell green on her eyes. Fancy that, guys. I used the same Vallejo Model Air livery, livery, livery. I'm going with livery green that we used on the tattoos previously. Here I went to highlight the, the tip of the nose and the lips just to give them a bit more prominence and then I immediately regretted that decision. It's okay to mess up, you can still rub it off. Having lost even more footage due to the extreme heat that we've been experiencing here uh, off camera, I painted in the wraps with uh, Citadel Zandri dust and I started to paint the blue armor panels on, on, on her legs with uh, Citadel's The Fang. Uh, I wanted the armor panels on the legs to be uh, kind of a, a representation of the Alliance, um, being a night elf and all, so it was more kind of demon hunter, scraggly up top, Alliance uniform down bottom. Here I'm base coating all of the fur on the edges of the armor with Citadel's Wraith Bone. To really help the hair pop out, uh, I gave the tops of the hair a highlight with Citadel's Waywatcher Green Glaze. I gave that multiple coats and I was actually, uh, I wasn't too impressed to begin with, but I was quite happy with the end result. I'm always terrified when it comes to highlighting hair. blocking in the fur around the base of the hooves using Citadel's Dryad Bark. And the trim of the armor with good old Balthazar Gelt. Gold. Balthazar Gold. With the wings, I used Army Painter's Skin Tone Wash uh, just to give them a bit more contrast, make them stick out a bit more from the purple. Um, that's just around the membrane areas of the wings. After losing even more footage, thank you, very, very hot summer heat, uh, what I'd done previously around the fur is that I had used Citadel Seraphim Sepia Wash uh, as a fur, kind of first layer, and we pick up now I'm using Citadel's Agrax Earth Shades around kind of the deepest recesses uh, of the fur just to give a bit of a transition from, from almost a dark brown to a almost blonde colour was what I was aiming for. I also used the Agrax Earth Shade on the rest of the armor, so the blue panels and the Balthazar Gold. Got it right. To highlight the armor, I used Russ Grey layer paints and just kind of went around the edges, just just bring out some of the highlights. Uh, 
After that, I gave it a second highlight using Fenrisian Grey as well, just to really kind of catch the edges, uh, just the tops of the corners, uh, the tops of the studs on the armour. And here I begin to highlight all of the fur. Uh, I'm using Vallejo Bone White, uh, just to once again really kind of re-establish that, that almost blonde white fur look that I was going for. I block in the buckle and the strap using Vallejo Model Air Gunmetal Grey. And almost off camera, uh, I begin to highlight the wrappings around her arms using Citadel Zandri Dust. I use Citadel's blue gemstone paint to give the uh, little blue gems on the belt buckle and the uh, chest strap. For highlighting the black leather on the belt, uh, I used a very, very, very dark blue from Vallejo. The name escapes me, I do apologise. Um, and for each step of highlight, I mixed in just uh, a little bit more of a lighter grey, um, and then just incrementally smaller and smaller details on the highlight just to give that transition. I give the metallics a quick black wash just to give some depth. And then I begin to paint the base of the model. For the ground, I use a uh, light brown from Vallejo, which I had to hand. And then for the rock, I took the brown uh, colour that I used for the base of the model and mixed in quite a lot of grey. This was very cathartic, I just kind of slopped it on there. I then took a dark grey and I started to paint that into the recesses around the rock where all the cracks are, uh, on the underside and on the sides. Um, Following that, I then blended the two colours together while they were still wet, just to make it look a bit more natural. Mm -hmm. 
for these last couple of steps, uh, I took our good old favourite, AK Interactive Winter Streaking Grime and AK Interactive's Rust Effects. I coated the base of the model with the Winter Streaking Cut Grime and the Rock with Rust Effects. I then attacked it all over with our Mineral Spirits to make the washes run together and pull up. Um, and then finally, I gave the uh, base of the model a dry brush with a bone white. And to finish off the hooves, I blended between a Rhinox hide base coat and a Cadian flesh tone. Uh, I then painted over that with a flesh wash. I also stuck some foliage uh, around the base. Big reveals coming up soon. I'd like to ask once again if you've enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe and enjoy the reveal. Thank you.